previously on Kingdom Come Deliverance. Sir, I bring an urgent message from my father, from Sir Radzig and Hanush. What does your father want from me? They send word for you to muster your men and rendezvous with them at Vranjik. Do damage to that door. Oh, holy good for dabbing. There we go. Bro. It's the only thing... that Hungarian bastard? A letter? What does it say, Radzig? It says everything is going according to plan and the castle should soon be taken. Oh, uh, some nearby castle left completely unguarded. He'll never get... What? We're planning on sending him to some monastery to become a monk? Bring him here! Radzig? We can only take Talmburg by a ruse or with superior numbers. Ruses have failed. And we don't have superior numbers. Then we are left with no choice but to build a trebuchet. And now the continuation. So as you can see, I'm wearing a hat, and that shows that time has passed. Um, but last time we, you know, did all this stuff, now we have to do some more stuff. That wasn't descriptive enough, maybe you should have watched the previously on. So we have to talk to Captain Robart. I knew what we were doing all along, you're the one that didn't. Actually, let's find out what we're wearing. What are we wearing? Oh, that's what we're wearing. We're wearing our, uh... Henry of Scalitz, savior of the province kind of looking outfit. Got my best axe on, a real good bow, nice heavy armor. That's the way we're going. Where the heck is he? Oh, he's out here just looking at the grass. Ugh. What needs to be done? Look, a military encampment's a complicated thing. I don't expect it to be as peaceful and orderly as Holy Mass, but what we have here now is havoc. The men are as nervous and short-tempered as caged bears. When you walk around the camps, you'll see for yourself. Grumbling everywhere, complaints about everything from the gruel to the fleas. They're moaning they've drunk the alehouse dry, and now they have to wait for the next batch of beer. We've got dead who deserve a decent burial, and a lot of wounded, including one of their lordships. The less the troops grumble, the better off we'll all be. But that's not even the main problem. What do you mean? Did you hear what Sir Jivish was saying to Fafar, our master builder? I heard some of it. And what did you make of it? He said he'd never built a trebuchet catapult. I wouldn't even know where to start, but he might. If it'll take him as long as he said. We can't wait until Judgment Day. We don't have that much time. I'll try to ask him if I can help in some way. You should definitely do that. Without a trebuchet, we're much too weak. Is there anything else I can help with? Well, we need some pitch. I know you had dealings with the charcoal burners. I've met a few, true enough. Then have a look around the area. If you manage to find any pitch, Bring it to our quartermaster in the camp at the quarry. All right, so we need ale, we need a doctor, I think we need a priest, and we need pitch. What else are we? Let's let's just check. So, Master Fafar, that's the last thing we'll do, because that's that's going to be dealing with the trebuchet. Uh, talk to quartermaster, talk to Captain Bernard, talk to Sir Divish, ask the charcoal burner. So we're going to go talk to the quartermaster. This must be our quartermaster. You can tell by his fancy hat and the fact that he's counting on his fingers. He's probably a pretty good quartermaster because he hasn't taken off his boots yet. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. How are we doing with the food? Who wants to know? One of their lordships? No, no. I just wondered if there was anything you're short of. Oh, I see. The lordling is wondering if we're in urgent need of anything. Well, well. To tell the truth, we don't have much meat. They bring it round often enough, but never as much as they should. Yes, I've heard something like that. Oh, I'll say. Every other man's moaning on about it. The gamekeepers are doing all they can, but they can't keep up. So if you know how to help them out, bring it right here. I'll take care of the rest. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. Do we have any beer? Christ, I wish we did. Our ale's all gone, and we've drained the local inn dry. <sighs> That's bad news. Don't I know it. You can't go and catch a beer in the woods, either. But if you happen to know about some, let's hear it. News like that, it refresh me almost as much as a drink. And the lads, too. I brought you some meat. Stack it over here. That's the lot. Great. If we're really going to have to storm the walls, then at least it should be with full bellies. Oh, and here's something for your trouble. Take care now. That was easy. I mean, we used up all of our dried meat, but, you know, what are you going to do? So let's talk to Sir Robard, our, uh, Sir... Captain Robard? No, Captain Bernard. Man, I'm having trouble with names today. Good health to you. How are the men holding up? They're a rabble. The out-of-towners are desperate to go home. And the locals... They've got nowhere else to go, so they're just generally complaining. Are they causing trouble? No trouble as such. 
It's true. I've caught a few of them asleep on their watch. There's nothing a couple of lashes of the whip can't cure. Well, there might be a simpler solution. Whipping a man's simple enough. Just give one of them a beating, the others will remember. And when they forget, do it again. But then you'd have an injured soldier. It occurred to me a herbal potion might do the trick. I never heard of any wives' quackery helping troop morale. The Christ knows they could do with something to flush the booze out of them and keep their eyes open. All right, that should be easy enough. We'll have to go to an herbalist and uh, see if we can get a caffeine potion. Let's see what's... Okay, so there's the herbalist. What do we have here? Oh, okay, so that's a tavern. Charcoal burner. So they're going to send us to each and every tavern to ask if we can have beer. There's another herbalist over there. We're going to go to this one because it's nice and close. But I think this is the order we're going to do it. We're going to go talk to Sir Divish, talk to the charcoal burners, talk to Andrew at the inn on the uh, green or whatever he calls this. That place because I'm pretty sure he'll have beer because it's a little out of the ways. Uh, and then we'll come up to the herbalist. We'll go whoop. We'll, we'll do it all in a local swoop. And then we'll do the catapult thing. So let's go talk to Sir Divish. It's a nice little camp they got going on here. Little, little secondary camp way over here. Oh, I get it. It's just so we have a clear vision of both sides. That's good. And we clearly have enough soldiers over here to stop them from retreating. We've got Hans Kapan, these two guards, those two guards. That seems like enough. Oh, let's talk to Sir Divish since I'm pretty sure that's why we're here. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? How do you feel, Sir Divish? How's the shoulder? I felt better, boy. Ugh. I feel awful, truth be told, and my shoulder's paining me. Let someone tend to the wound and you'll soon be better. With flesh can be healed, perhaps, but the spirit. Henry, can you do something for me? What is it you need, sir? I need a pre- position. The closest was in Rovna, but I don't know what happened to him. And then there's the one from Ujits. What's his name? Godwin, but why would you need a priest? The wound will heal, especially with the help of one of the monks. It's not about me. I've got a lot of wounded here that won't see mourning, and dead men, and I have to confess my sins. All right, so we have to get a priest too, so that's actually simple, so we'll just add that to our rotation. So, charcoal burners, uh, the inn on the green or whatever, we'll go to Ujits to talk to the priest, then we'll go to the herbalist, and then we'll come back here. I mean, we also have to go to the monastery to get a physician. What's this? Beer... Herbalist. Okay, so that's just more beers and herbalists. We'll have to go here to get the position, so. Actually, we'll do that first, because then, then it's out of the way. We'll do that, come back here, then we'll do our circuit. All right, here's our doctor. I'll come to ask for help. Again? Such trying times we live in. God is testing us all. So what is it you need? Their lordships have laid siege to Talmberg, and the brigands have wounded Sir Divish and many other people. I'm to ask if the monastery might send someone to help. These are tragic times. Fortunately, I have only a little work left to do here, so I'll gather my things and set off for Tonberg. Thank you, Father. May God reward you a thousand times. Good luck, then. Hmm, that was easy. I thought we were going to have to do him a favor. But now we'll go back. Well, we'll just go to the charcoal burners. As I say, we don't have to go to Tonberg for that. It'll be quicker just to go straight there. So let's go to the tar charcoal burners. This looks like our guy. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. I'm looking for some pitch for Talmberg. Already? What happened to the last lot we supplied? I don't know, and it doesn't matter. Do you have any, or don't you? I do. I had a buyer lined up, but it's been a while since he showed his face. What do you need it for? Talmberg's been taken by a horde of brigands, so we're laying siege to it. We could use some pitch. Christ, blood. I hadn't heard the news. All right, it's all yours. You gave us a hand with that ginger when we needed it, and if it's for Sir Divish, I know my duty. If you want to haul it away yourself, feel free, or I can get someone to deliver it to you. Thank you. God bless you. All right, that was easy. Didn't have to talk him into doing it either. Looks like uh, we're doing pretty well. Okay, so we're going to go here next and get the most important thing, which, as we all know, is beer. Here's our guy, sneaking out of his tavern. Yeah, quite a few people here, considering he's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. God be with you. Andrew, there's no more beer in Talmberg, and the soldiers are starting to grumble. Can't you send some there? I could, but there's nothing in it for me. Just as a matter of interest, who do you pay your taxes to? <laughs> You're saying I should be paying to Talmberg, told Sir Divish? When Sir Havel of Valdeck was the master here, I managed to wriggle out of it. 
<laughs> Nobody's come collecting since. Right well, up. right now, there are three noblemen camped by Talmberg, one of whom might be very interested to learn about all the tax you owe. I imagine he might want to collect it in the form of beer. Hmm. When you put it like that, I have got a few kegs I could send over. I won't lose out too much. They'd always spoil if I kept them longer, and I'd have to throw them away. Just remember, if you poison them, they'll hang you for it. Those soldiers are drinking up long before it has time to go off. And what's more, what with all that cabbage being eaten, it wouldn't occur to anyone the shit's came courtesy of the beer. I'll have them loaded up right away and taken there. And give their lordships my regards. Tell them I'm sending my best beer as a gift. Why the devil shouldn't I get some goodwill out of this at least? Take care now. Well, we got some beer. Doesn't sound like the best beer, but got some beer. Since we're going up to uh, Ujits anyway, we'll also talk about the beer there, because if we can get some beer that won't make our people have diarrhea, that'd probably be best. So while we're here, let's talk to this guy. See if he's got any beer to spare. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. I need to bring a few kegs of beer back to Talmberg. I'm a few kegs short myself, and once I run out, my regulars will go elsewhere. Hmm. Looks like he won't be helping us with beer. Oh, we can talk to Father Godwin. Pays two things to come here. I might have to go check the other taverns as well because I kind of have a bad feeling about <laughs> Andrew. So, let's talk to Father Godwin. Ow! Aha! He hit me! There's something I need from you, Father Godwin. Is there, my son? How can I help? There are a lot of dead and wounded at Talmberg, and no one to make the sign of the cross on their foreheads. I'd like to help, but sadly I simply can't. My own parishioners are watching me closely, and if I make just one false move, they'll have the bishop down on my back. But Sir Divish himself... If he wants me, let him come and speak to me himself. But I'm not going anywhere. It's your fault I have to live with a sword dangling over my head, Hal. And don't think I've forgotten it. I never forced you to do anything. And just because I didn't help you out, you're denying God's forgiveness to innocent strangers. How dare you? Do you think I'd stoop to such pettiness? My reasons are honorable. All right, all right, I understand. So why don't you turn it round on them? Why don't you say you'll go to Talmberg because it's the right thing to do and your Christian duty, even though you might be shot in the process, like that saint? Sebastian, that might help, I suppose. But tell me the truth. Is the air really thick with arrows? It is a siege, but all the camps are well out of range, so you don't have to worry about that. Well, I'll see how the Martyr the Mangle works and then I'll go. At least getting out of here for a while will give me a break from all those judgmental looks. To forgive is human, damn it! Or is it to err that's human? I can never remember. Well, not the best motives, but we got a priest going, so that's good. Well, let's go talk to the herbalist. Because we need our caffeine potion. So, let's go talk to her. Alright, here's our lady. God be with you. What can I do for you? I need something to keep our soldiers awake. Do you know of anything that might help? I do know of a concoction to ward off sleep. I can teach you how to make it if you like. But I need enough for at least a hundred people. I can't help you with that. You'll have to brew up a bit at a time as it's needed. So, do you want to do it or not? That'll be very helpful. Cockroll potion. Well, first of all, let's see if she's got any. Oh, well, she's got six of them. Buy those right away. So how many of them do we need? Come on, tell me how many I need. Oh, any day now. 60! My god. I hope I've made the cockerel potion before. Seems I know how to make it, so that's a good sign. Well, let's find out what we need. She'll probably have the ingredients. The first time I played through this game, the first time I uh, came to this alchemy bench here, it shot me up into the stratosphere. That was cool. Bane potion, bard potion. Bivoji's Rage, Digestive Potion, Hair of the Dog Potion, Cockerel! Apparently, okay, I don't have the ingredients, but we need Valerian and Mint. Well, I know I have Mint, so let's just go buy as much Valerian and Mint as we can from her. Hopefully I've made it before, so I can just auto-brew it. Especially because that way I get two of them. Alright, uh, other. I forgot what I needed already. I know I needed Mint. Valerian, I think, was the other one. Have I not? Do I not know these recipes? Let's check them. Huh. 
Huh, two of them I needed. Let's sell her those other two books back. I feel like you should be able to uh, sell recipe. What? Can I not sell those? You gotta be kidding. All right. Well, we don't have much Valerian, so we won't be able to make many here. Even if I have uh, done it before. Wish you would just start with the potions that you already know how to make. Or, like, that you have the ingredients to make, I should say. I think I've made cockerel before. I have, oh, thank God. Alright, you brewed cockerel potion. Do I have to read it before I can auto brew it? Fifteen of them. At least it only takes one Valerian for it. Twenty-one of them. Oh, I'm probably out of Valerian now. Yeah, look at that. Oh, we got 24 out of 60. That's not bad. We might not actually have to go to Rite, because she had six more potions and, I think, ten Valerian and ten Mint. So, we should have enough. Digestive, Hair of the Dog, Cockerel. All right, let's see if we can uh, do enough here. We have 36. 42. 48. Mm. 51. Well, we're getting there. 54. 60. Alrighty. Well, so no more beer, but we were able to get all the potions. So, let's go back to Talmberg. Alright, here's our quartermaster. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. I've arranged some beer for you from the local tavern. You're a proper treasure, you are. I'm gonna put a word in about how well you look after us. Like your own kith and kin. The charcoal burners nearby have some stocks of pitch they'll let us have. That's handy. So Rubard will be pleased. What little we had left was running out and he was getting worried. Well, he can stop worrying. Good. I'll get someone to take care of it. Take care now. Alright, so we got that taken care of. Now we have to go give uh, Sir Captain Bernard, Captain Bernard, our pitch. Not our pitch. God be with you. Our potions. This might help, and there's plenty of it. And it certainly is. I'll have to get all those poured into a keg. But if it works, I'm in your debt. I just want to make sure we get rid of those bastards holed up in the castle. No more than I do, Lan. And to see Istvan hang from the highest tower. I'll drink to that. Well, I would if I wasn't on duty. He gave me 650 groschen for that. I think that more than pays what I paid for those potions, so that's not bad. Um, who do we have to talk to next? Sir Divish, I think, right? He said that should take a bunch of the... Oh, do we not have to talk to Sir Divish again? Alright, so it's just catapult time. Let's go talk to Mr. Feyfire. He's our man. If he can't do it, great. No, I'm just kidding. We want him to do it. He's on our team. Alright, let's talk to him. Greetings. What do you need? Sir Robard sent me to you. He said you have to build a trebuchet. Indeed. A trebuchet that can smash the walls of Tamburg. I, a mining engineer, what do I know of war machines? I'll never manage it on my own. Well, I'd like to help you, but how? I don't know anything about trebuchets either. Actually, there is a way you could help. Sure. Conrad Kieser came to Sasso recently. If you could get him to come here, it would save my skin. Conrad Kieser? Who's he? He's a scholar who studied medicine, but he also designed siege engines. He even took part in the siege in Nicopolis, together with Sigismund. He was with Sigismund? It's not so straightforward. They quarreled after the battle, after Conrad blamed their defeat on Sigismund. Hmm. I don't suppose he took that too well. Quite. That's what led to Conrad being banished from Prague and making a base at Bethlehem Castle. What's he doing here in Sassau? They sent him over here to help with building the monastery. No doubt they had to pay handsomely to get him. All right. I'll do what I can. Thank you, Henry. Maybe we will build that trebuchet after all. Goodbye. All right, so that's easy enough. Now we just have to do Rocketeer, which will be sending us to the monastery. Where I have... Hmm, I've got some DLC quests open all over the place. But we have to go to the monastery to go get Conrad Kieser. I'm pretty sure he's up here. Because I know things. Because I've seen a few, thing or two. So, let's go over to Sasau. I forgot how much running around this mission has you doing. If it, uh... If I wasn't able to cut all that out, this would be very boring. That's one of the reasons why, like I said, I don't... I 
don't want to stream this game. People always ask me to stream Kingdom Come Deliverance, but there's a lot of running around in it. It's very fun to play, but I don't know that it would be very fun to watch, you know, but anyway, pretty sure he's up here in this house, so that should be simple enough. I think I've already, I already know Urban, so hopefully he'll let me in. Hello, Urban. Thief! Hello, Thief. What? You thought I wouldn't find out? You didn't return the relic! But I... Oh, bugger. How could you do that? It's because of people like you that they won't let decent folk in. Whoa, what's up with this guy? I am quite certain I did return that relic. So I guess I have to wallop this guy if I want to get in. Oh, he armbarred me. The dick. Yeah, that's right. You fall off. Call that, that combat. I'm gonna lure him in here so, so when I knock him out. Where could he vanish to? He's got a lot of life on him. Now you come back in here. We're gonna, hell. we're gonna knock you out. Ow. Really? He is good at fighting. And also, it's weird that I haven't knocked him out yet. Not a good move. I'm gonna Where am I? This. Is that back door here? How have I never seen this before? Also, why have I not knocked him out yet? There we go. Must have finally got his stamina down. I gotta do those, uh... Ball bumps. They apparently knock him out. We'll just keep doing those. Punch him, please let me punch him. There we go. There we go. He's unconscious. Let's go talk to uh, Conrad. Shouldn't be too hard to get in now, now that his uh, guard has been taken care of. Of course, I probably could have looted a uh, key off of him if I'd have been careful. Alright, let's see if we can get in. Hmm. Well, we should be able to pick the lock. We are, in fact, experts at the lock-picking arts. I mean, I don't know how good guy Henry would be so good at that, but he is. The horde of Joshua, you startled me. I thought you were urban. What do you want? Sir, Tobias Fafar, the master builder and engineer from Scalitz, sends his greetings. Fafar? Tobias Fafar? I've heard of him. He invented an interesting mining machine. Uh, what does he need? Sir, have you heard what's been going on in Talmberg? I've heard a thing or two. 
Is it true the castle's been taken? It has, and we want to take it back. Master Fafar has been given the task of building a trebuchet, but he's not sure he can manage it. I doubt it myself. Uh, building siege engines is an entirely different kettle of fish than mining. Damn. I'd like to rain some boulders on those heathens of Sigismund's. But that can't be done with a quill and parchment, and I can't leave here right now. Why can't you leave? That's a long story. I was a little, uh, more than a little, critical of Sigismund's efforts at Nicopolis. And it might surprise you to know, after that defeat, he didn't particularly appreciate my criticism. Then, when Sigismund abducted the king, I didn't feel too secure in Prague, so I left. Hmm, perhaps left is the wrong word. Uh, some might say I was banished. In any case, I went to Bethlehem Castle. And why are you here in Sassar? To be honest, I need the money. Money, sir? You don't seem like a man who lives in want. Dear me, no. I don't need it to support myself. It's to fund my opus. Uh, that's why I agreed to help with the construction of the monastery. So, you see, I can't simply take my leave. Could I not just pay off the master builder for your services? I doubt it. Carol is only interested in the construction. As long as he has the money to pay the craftsman's wages, that's all he needs. Ah, as long as he has enough for wages, you say? Yes. What are you thinking? Couldn't Carol be persuaded somehow? After all, the defence of the province is at stake. I realise that, but Sassar Monastery has always kept its neutrality. Uh, what's more, the abbot isn't here at present, and without his permission, Carol won't be persuaded. But I might have another idea. What do you suggest? Carol received his commission in writing. If you found it, we could, uh, well, we could copy the abbot's seal and signature on our own document. That's a curiously interesting idea. <laughs> My inventiveness has many applications. I could be back here before the abbot, so he won't even know I was gone. I don't want to play tricks. I'll try to think of another way. All right, I think we're going to do the wage way. Uh, Conrad Keiser, uh, Keiser kind of sounds like Patrick Stewart. Never realized that before. All right, so we're just going to have to go make sure that he doesn't have wages. And then bribe him. So, seems simple enough. So there he is. I wonder where the wages are. He might have them on him. Let's see if we can't pickpocket him. Yeah, look at that. He was short of money for the wages. So, that'll be simple enough. Let's talk to him. God be with you. I need some help from Master Conrad. Then go and talk to him. The thing is, he's already agreed, but he'd have to go to Talmberg. I can't consent to that. He signed a contract for building the monastery, and we pay him a pile of coin for every day he spends here. But the conquest of Talmberg is more important for the province. From what I hear, it's awfully important first and foremost for your lord. Sassau's always been neutral. Anyway, I take my orders directly from the abbot. Are you sure you won't release Conrad? You won't be gone long. Not a chance. Hmm. Well, anyway, I've heard it said there's not enough money to finish the construction. So, I thought as a lover of architecture, I might contribute. How the hell do you know that? That's neither here nor there. The important thing is to let me help you. How much will you give, damn you? Well, good guy Henry, Henry has to... I stole 50 groschen from him. To make this possible. And they're like, 2,000? I'll give him 2,300 because I feel guilty about stealing the 50. Very well then. Kiza can go. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Take care now. I wish they'd just give you that option. You don't have to steal from him first. You could just give him 2,300 groschen and he'd be like, yeah, that's a lot of money. I'll let him go. Because I imagine they're not paying Conrad that much every day. But in any case, hey, it's nice to see Urban hasn't come back yet. I did not kill him, so... They're after me! Sweet Jesus, I knew this day would come! What? Who is... Carol said you can leave and... Leave? I can't even set foot outside the door! Not now! 
Please, calm down and tell me what's going on. <sighs> They're after me! Who? Who's after you? Sigismund's people, of course! Why would they be after you? Because he's never forgiven my criticisms of Nicopolis. Now he's decided to pay me back. What am I to do? What makes you think someone's after you? When I was on my way to Sassau, I saw Baron Pekka in Kostelitz. He was with Sigismund on the crusade, as was I. Now I've been told he was seen at the local tavern. And a stranger's been creeping around the gardens here late at night. My God, there are signs someone was trying to force the door. They're after me, Henry. The Lord preserve me. They want to kill me. Take it easy. If someone's after you, I'll see to him. I'll have a sniff around the town or lie in wait for him. I don't know. What if he sneaks past you? He won't, I promise. I'll hide in the garden, and if anyone starts creeping around after dark, I'll catch him. You will, won't you? Good, good. And be sure to hide well. If he sees you, he won't come. All right, that seems simple enough. We just have to wait for the assassin. I wonder what he means by the garden. This, probably? No, probably this. Hmm, I don't know. We could hide in a grave. Oop. Crouch. All right, let's wait until... Did it say midnight? Racketeer. Wait for the out for the assassin at midnight. Okay, so that seems simple enough. Let's do that. Mother, oh, we got someone. I nothing. I. Jesus Christ be praised. The charlatan. Do you know anything about our master Paycar? Certainly. They say he's come to do some trading. At least that's what Peter reckoned. Says he dice with him at the inn. Well, so it just happened that there were two people sneaking around in the garden. I just heard someone say, just you wait. There's a horse here. Where the heck is this guy? That ominous just you wait seemed uh, like something. Hey, there's someone. Halt! What are you doing here? Quiet, for God's sake. You'll wake the whole monastery. Silence! For God's sake, I caught you in the middle of an assassination attempt. Assassination? What are you on about? Are you Lord Pekar? The one who was on the crusade? Well, yes. How do you know that? Because you've come to assassinate Comrade Kieser. Kieser? He's living here in the monastery? Well, yes. Right here in this house. What's your business here? It's all a terrible mistake. I have a long-standing arrangement with a custodian here, Sir Sebastian von Berg. I supply him with salt and spices. And I've come to realise how he's been cheating me repeatedly. The dispute's been running for a while and still has legs. So I wanted my money back, that's all. I've no quarrel with Conrad. Sounds believable. The custodian is kind of a twat. All right. I suppose I'll have to take your word for it. But stop creeping around here at night and trying to break into the house. Comrade is scared half to death and I need him in his right mind. Very well. That does sound like Conrad. I'll think up some other plan. Good luck to you. Well, did you find anyone? I did. And? You needn't fear. I kept watch the whole night and nothing happened. A few folk passed by, but nobody dangerous. And what about Pekka? Are you saying he has no malicious intentions? None. He's just doing some trade with the custodian. That's what brought him to where you were. Well, if you're sure. But I'd still rather lie low for a while. Come to Townberg. You'll be surrounded by a whole garrison there. Yes. Yes, I suppose that does make sense. Uh, thank you, Henry. I'm in your debt. We'll meet at Townberg. All right, that seems simple enough. I didn't even have to kill anyone. So, win-win. We also caught the uh, charlatan sneaking around. I wonder what he was up to. Probably just stealing herbs or something from the monastery garden. But, you know, could have been interesting. A little interesting side content there. But let's pop back to Telmberg, because I think we did everything we needed to for this quest. A well-chosen site. You want to strike the gate, do you? True. 
We don't want to do more damage than necessary. I quite understand. So Toth is holed up there, is he? Just so, Master Conrad. I hear you have some accounts to settle with him. Ah, not entirely. I've done with him. Sigismund trusted him more than me in his campaign against the Ottomans. And we all know how that ended up. Uh, how did it end up? Badly, my lord. The flower of French knighthood was slain there. Sigismund fled for his life. And I did too, I must confess. Be assured we shall not make the same mistake here. We do not intend to starve them into submission, but to break down the gate. I am at your service, my lords. We will build the trebuchet quickly. It will be ready in a matter of days. And I can supply, for example, Roquetta to sweep the foe from the battlements. Roquetta? I do not believe I've heard of such a term. Roquetta are missiles filled with black powder with a touch hole at the bottom to ignite it. They shoot forward, something like a hand cannon, but without rocks. The rocket is the missile. I see. But we don't have black powder in these parts. Nor cannon. Indeed. It should have occurred to me. But I am very fond of Roquetta, and I always think what Alexander the Great might have accomplished with them. I understand. We find ourselves in a conventional situation that demands a conventional solution. I'm still hoping that Toth will see sense and parley with us. He may well do so, especially when we set up the trebuchet on his doorstep. Alright, well, after the cutscene... Whoa, what the hell? What the hell just happened? Hey, I'll see you. Life, uh, not a good hey, move. All of you, gather here. Take Bring that out. It's one of those that's bastards. That's... Over here. Where is everyone? Quick. Watch out. I see an enemy. He killed Get him. Off. Watch out. I didn't think that was actually going to happen. I thought he was telling the truth. He killed Conrad. Holy crap. That has never happened to me before. I have no idea what to do. Well, let's talk to Tobias Fifar. God bless you. What troubles you? I came to an agreement with Comrade. He's already here. You wouldn't believe how clever that fellow is. Now we really will build that trebuchet. That I guarantee you. Glad I could be of service. I'm truly grateful to you. And the men will be too when the assault starts. Fine work. You've certainly saved many lives. I probably shouldn't, but go and have a look in my trunk. You might find something there you can use. Thank you. Okay. Didn't say anything about him being dead. So that's different. I might have screwed up the game. Um. Yikes. Let's see what he's got on him. That is unfortunate. Oh, good, he's still alive. Are you all right? All right? All right! He tried to kill me! But... I... It seemed like... It was Pekar! He's lying right there! And you let him go! You told me to my face that I had nothing to fear! Keep out of my sight, you hear? I might have been killed for pity's sake! Yikes! Well, that's new for me. That's never happened before. I've always killed Baycar. So, wow. That was exciting. Well, in any case, I think that's where we're going to end it for today. So, hope you enjoyed this video, etc., etc. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.